Hello, I'm Denshi, and this is Red Star Operating System. And as you can tell by the Korean writing and the literal Red Star, this is what you would be using if you were living in the socialist regime of North Korea. That is, of course, if you were part of the incredibly small elite in Pyongyang that would actually have access to computers and something as powerful to run a version of modern Linux, or at least I don't really know what kernel this is specifically running, but I know it's newer than version 2 or 3. So anyway, as you can see, we're booting into the operating system, and it's very similar to Mac OS, if you can tell by, you know, the shiny buttons and all that kind of stuff. I've set my username to Denshi and my icon to this little cute chick over here. So now we're gonna type in my very secure password and we're gonna go. So here we are in Red Star operating system. There's a couple of things to take a look at that we have on our dock over here and a bunch of stuff over here at the toolbar. But first of all, this is very similar to Mac OS. There's a lot of similarities. For example, you have the little Mac icon over here where you click on it and you have access to all that kind of stuff. I think one of these says about our computer, but I don't know how to read Korean, surprisingly, and even if I did know how to read Korean, this is North Korean, which means it has a lot of traditional features to it. It's not very westernized, like what you would be speaking in South Korea, so it's not exactly something I'm able to fully comprehend or comprehend at all. I'd also like to note that we have just a waving red flag over here. I don't really think it does anything. It's just here and it's a red flag and it's waving. I guess it's just a symbol of the regime besides the very, very obnoxious red star. Also, my cursor is flickering for no reason when I go and touch stuff. I guess it's a, just a weird artifact. There's a fire here. I don't really know what that is. There's volume, I guess. There's this. I don't know what this is. It seems to be some toolbar for something. I think that's switching between keyboards, uh, something to do with probably Windows snapping. I think that's like special characters, I guess. I guess it's related to typing. I don't know what that could be. I have no idea. And I guess it's a manual on how to use the computer. All right, so I guess it's some kind of manual. It's got like a fire here or something. Anyway, let's take a look at the program. So this is, I believe, our file manager. Yep, that is that is a file manager. Dropbox, I did not know they had Dropbox in North Korea. Speaking of internet in North Korea, they don't have it, or at least most people don't. Well, most people don't even have access to computers, but the people who do use computers will have access to the North Korean intranet which of course is much better than the real internet. The North Korean intranet is probably something you can figure on a local network. I don't really think they have the infrastructure to handle internet between multiple buildings in multiple cities. So if you were to open the web browser, for example, the, it just redirects us to some IP address. So I guess that would be either on our local network. It's also using HTTP. I guess you have no need for encryption when nobody else has computers to attack you or steal your personal data. I mean, the great glorious leader should know everything you're doing anyway. I am scared that this is connecting somehow to the internet and is re like relaying everything back. That's why I've cut off networking from this specific virtual machine because I don't want it, you know, phoning home and telling Kim Jong-un about my computer and the fact that I don't know how to do anything with this operating system because I do not speak Korean. This is probably some error that says something, but once again, I don't speak Korean. Like, let's be honest, it's pretty obvious. It's just an error that it's not able to reach the local server. Speaking of web browser, though, this is the Nara, Nine, Nine Nara, Nine Nara browser. I guess that's what they call their little web browser. Seems to be based off something it looks similar to safari off the max but i don't really see anything specifically and we got a search so nationwide glorious north korean search uh, i guess there's a, multiple search providers in north korea or something because there's multiple brands there we have a video player pretty rudimentary <laughs> there's not really much to play back because i haven't found any videos on the system there's a calendar Yep, that's a calendar, all right, this calendar stuff. Uh, there is a contacts page. I guess you could use this to register all your contacts in North Korea. Not that you probably have more than five people who you knew who used computers in this nation. PDF reader, I guess you, that could be useful if you were using like, you know, PDFs. Am I supposed to open a document in it? I guess let's close that then. Calculator. And as you can probably tell by opening it, it's a calculator, pretty obvious. Then I guess those are the settings, the system settings. There's a lot of settings here. Uh, I think this is like hard drive management, yeah. User management, yeah, that's time, all right. Something to do with networking, something to do with whatever this is. Safe, encryption, what's security? Who needs security? This is this is North Korean operating system. This is very similar to Mac OS, by the way. They have a very similar UI, although I believe this is 
like a Linux, like a GNU, like kind of thing, not actually Mac OS. It'd be pretty hard to modify Mac OS. That's not all the applications though. There's a menu over here, click on this, and there's more programs. This one with the three question marks that sums up how I'm feeling right now. I've just got a lot of question marks flying around my head because I have no idea what's going on. Guess this is some kind of manual, though I can't really seem to find any pages or anything because it might be just like a document browser, I don't know. That's the PDF reader, that's a PDF editor. I guess I open that and you can edit PDFs. So, hey, at least that's more than what Windows comes with. You <laughs> can't even edit PDFs out of the box. I believe that's some kind of like menu, like it's a folder or something. That's a setting. Oh, there appears to be a terminal. Ooh, a terminal. Ah, interesting. What kind of commands are there on here? Is there like a package manager? Is there a sudo? Let's see. Let's try to figure out what we're running. Can we run a screen fetch command? No, that's not installed. U name dash A. Figure out what kernel we're running. Den GPC kernel 2.6. Ooh, interesting. Uh, I686. So it's a 32-bit operating system and it's GNU Linux. So it is Linux. All right. So I guess that's that is determined. But it is GNU Linux of some kind of type. Maybe if we were able to get files into this and then transfer over some kind of like fetching program or figure it out just by using commands, we could figure out like what kind of operating system we're truly running here. And if there is, like maybe it could be based off Debian and what UI this is, whether they made it themselves like that or they just use some kind of window manager or they, you know, copied somebody else's desktop environment, which I wouldn't put beyond the North Korean OS development team if they exist still anymore. Anyway, I guess that's uh, a text editor. Oh, well, look at this. Forget Vim and stuff. This is as simple and minimalist as it gets. Hello world. What is this now? This is photo viewer. Well, I don't have any photos to view. Um, is that a photo? No, okay. There's no photos on here to view, I think. What's this? Oh, it's like, oh, it's an office suite. So I guess this is like Apache Open Office or LibreOffice or some kind of fork of it to be North Korean. So I guess you could edit spreadsheets on your North Korean machine. Very nice. Uh, what's this? Seems to be like a Korean letter. Oh, this is fonts. So it does have English fonts and Russian fonts and Arabic fonts and everything. Oh, look at that. It's got all the all the basic fonts. Hey, this is more fonts than many Linux distributions come with. Ooh, it's like an internet registry for friends. Ah, oh, look at this. And we have like space on our hard drive for some reason. Maybe this is like cloud storage. I don't know, it's, it's something though. Photo editor, ooh, interesting. Does this actually open up and do anything? Apparently not. Uh, can we open up something? Control plus maybe? Uh, that's changing my stuff. I, I have no idea. Very simple, minimalist North Korean email program. Flower, flower, ooh. Oh, it's like a music software. Well, since when do you know a Linux distribution that comes with music software out of the box? Maybe like musician-oriented distribution. But besides that, look at this. It comes with some North Korean music software. They didn't make this. There's no way they genuinely made this. This is a fork of something out there. This, is, this can't be an original North Korean program. Well, it might actually be. I don't know about how the you know, discipline of music is taught in North Korea, but if they genuinely need, like, computers and stuff, I guess it's useful to include this in, but there's a lot of features, too. Can I, like, make a song in North Korea in, in the North Korean operating system? That'd be pretty fun. Oh, there's more programs. I have a, these are games? Oh, no, it's not games. This is a, a system monitor. I guess you can open up that. Oh, look at that. System monitor. It's got all my stuff. CPU. It's got my cores. Storage thing that's RAM, Red Star, yeah, I think this is storage, I, I'm not sure, but it's something. There's uh, lots of settings here, I don't know how to speak Korean. Uh, hard drive, I guess this is like storage management. Uh, I like the icons, I don't. I think these are original icons. Let's quit these programs though, these are sort of bloating up our little test score here. Uh, this isn't the worst UI, I'm gonna be honest, I've seen worse desktop environments. Okay, so this is like storage management, uh, what's this then? Uh, drive repair? Is that what this is? Uh, ping? I guess we can ping someplace, like internet stuff, all right. I think this is a game. Can't run the game? Oh, I need to be root to run the game, what? What, you can't, I can't run the game? I have to be root to play video games in North Korea? Well, you know, video games are a waste of time, but I guess in a socialist regime, there's no video games allowed. RAM, just like RAM stuff? Oh, this is just like hardware information, all right. Well, Firewire, and then not know that like, North Koreans had Firewire. I mean, it is obscure technology. This is 2012 though, like this operating system, so it makes sense. What is this? Uh, oh, it's like errors and stuff. Some kind of status console, all right. System roots, 
uh, I guess user management or something. All right then, well, there is a video game here, but I can't run it. Maybe that's not a game and it's like a firewall program. I don't know. Do North Koreans play video games? I, I don't know. Oh, we could try. Where? We could try running that game. I want to run that game. I don't want to just sit here and not run that video game. I see a video game in the North Korean operating system. I'm gonna run it. So it's this thing. What does this translate to? I have no idea. LS now. All right, so applications. Is applications a folder that can... Contains KCAL, KPhoto, Mail. Oh, this is KDE programs. Utilities folder. I think it's one of these. What? Bakim. Is it Bakim? So it's gotta be one of these. So disk utility activity. Well, I think it's Bakim. So let's try sudo. It's not found. Oh yeah, well, I, I, I typed it wrong. Uh, I need to change ownership, I guess. Change, sorry, executability. Not allowed to? Oh, I can't run things as root. Well, I, I can no Bakum for me today, I guess. Can I run the other programs though? Uh, like activity monitor, key store, disk utility, RS log. Can, can I run the network utility? Let's see. Well, let's CD, it's LS, the contents then of Bakum could include something interesting. Bakum.png. All right, well, I think we've concluded that we're now gonna be able to run this software. It might just be not a video game and some kind of firewall software. I don't know what a Bakum is. If you know what a Bakum is, tell me. But so this is the North Korean operating system. We've proven that it's a GNU Linux system, that it has a lot of pre-included programs and it's very green. Can we change the wallpaper though? Is there a way to change the wallpaper? No, you get stuck with green forever, a green bubble or something. I don't see any images here. I don't think there's a very clear way to get images onto this machine besides using some kind of virtual hard disk that I can mount in both my systems to get things into the virtual machine. But I'm, I fear giving this thing access to any of my data. So I guess salute this glorious red flag waving here that has no actual real function. Thanks for watching this video on the North Korean system and goodbye.